I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. If you want to master the Azure Cloud, you can start right now by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Optimizing Windows has always been an important part of running your infrastructure, and that's especially true in virtual desktop infrastructure like WVD. Optimizations help us to increase user density, which means we can effectively lower cost. And that's exactly what you're seeing on the screen here. This is a script that was created by Robert Smith and Tim Musig, and they're a group in the community called the Virtual Desktop Team, formerly known as the VDI Guys. And we're gonna get into their solution today. And as you can see from the timer at the bottom, in less than five minutes, this whole process completed. So this is gonna be a quick one, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to hang around for the whole video because we're going to have three demos for you today. At the end, I'll show you how to incorporate all of this into your new VM builds so that you can automate the whole process. Welcome to the Virtual Desktop Team GitHub repository where you can find the optimization tool and this link is in the video description. And essentially what we need to do is download all of the code from this repo and then execute this PowerShell script. And that's what you saw on the screen just a few moments ago. Now, the beauty of running this code as is right from this repo is that it is compliant with all of Microsoft's current best practices around Windows 10 multi-session and VDI implementations. And you can see that from the documentation link that is present here. And this is a very long article, but it is here for your reference so you know what the virtual desktop team is doing and they've done all of the hard work so that you don't have to. Back in the repo, there is of course full instructions to get it downloaded and installed. Now you of course can do all of that yourself and just go right here and download all the code or you could pay a visit to my GitHub repository and I've got a virtual desktop repo in here. And in my PowerShell folder, I do have code here for the WVD Optimize. And this code really does nothing more than just do the work of downloading everything from the repo and running it for you. And we're gonna come back to this code at the end of the video, so you definitely wanna stay tuned for that. So let's do a quick demo here. And I've got an RDP session that I'm kicking off to a brand new machine. And we'll have the timer here so you can see how long this first login process takes. And keep in mind that this is creating the new user profile, registering all of the AppX applications, setting up all of the scheduled tasks, starting all my services, and running any processes that I need at startup. And if I open the task manager, right away you can see that the system is running 146 processes, 1600 threads, this is a two core CPU, and on this newly built machine, there are 252 possible services, and at this moment, 99 of them are running, and that's right at startup. And in settings, if we open up apps and features, you can see that there are a lot of applications that are pre-installed. We have ones like the WVD agents that are traditional x86 installers. And then we have the other ones that are the modern applications. Now, every modern application that's run on a system has to be registered. Every user creates a profile and each one of those registrations all takes some amount of time. And all these things can be improved with our optimization code. I'll go to the virtual desktop team's repo and go to download the code as a zip file. And so we'll go to right click and extract. And I'm gonna extract this to the C optimize folder and hit extract and that's gonna create that folder for us. And we're good to go. So now I'm gonna open PowerShell as an administrator and go to that location. And inside there we'll open the Windows 10 virtual desktop optimized PowerShell script. And you can see the parameters here at the top, very simple. You're gonna to wanna to run this with the 2004 version Version. Even if you have an older version of Windows, this will give you all of the latest updates and features. And then there is a restart switch that you can use if you want the system to run the code and then restart automatically. And that's gonna come in very handy at the end. Now you can certainly highlight the code all at once and then run it from inside PowerShell or you can run it from PowerShell command line and we can add the parameters. So we'll go in for the Windows version and select 2004. And then I'm also gonna give it the restart switch and we're gonna kick it off. Now how long this takes to run is going to depend on your system and everything that you have on it, generally around five minutes or less. 
And here's another way to kick off the script. This will be demo number two. Inside a storage account, I've got a container here called WVD and I've uploaded the WVD optimized script. And if I go to edit here, it's gonna go out to the virtual desktop team's GitHub repo, download the same zip file, and then expand that zip file to the C optimize folder and then execute the code. So we're gonna run this as a custom script extension. And here we have another virtual machine. And if you missed our video on custom script extensions, you can go check that out at the top. So we'll load the script extension and then browse to a file and we'll select our storage account, our container and our optimized code. And this PowerShell script does not require any arguments. So we'll hit okay. And that'll just take another minute to deploy. Now that the system has finished rebooting, we'll go back and log in and keep your eye on the timer because this is gonna go by pretty fast. And we can open the task manager and see that we're around 115 or so processes and 1500 threads. And less processor consumption means that we'll be able to get more users on each box. And in apps and features, less apps have to register with each user. So that means that the login process will also be faster. And out of the 250 services that are available on the system, now we have 79 of them running, which again means that we're using less resources so we can get more density. I've opened the virtual desktop client here and in case you haven't seen some of the latest updates, you can now have multiple user accounts registered inside the same app. So I'll log on with the user Black Adam. And that only took us a few seconds to get to the desktop and everything is running very efficiently. Now I know that some of you are thinking, how do I incorporate this code into my images? And I'm going to say that that is not recommended because there are certain things that these scripts do which will not survive the sysprep process. So this is something you'll have to deploy after you get your custom image built and packaged. Okay, so when you deploy a new VM, you'll have to run the optimization code, which is going to lead us to our last demo. Back in my GitHub repo, I've got the WVD repository and inside there, I've already shown you the PowerShell folder that has the WVD optimized code here. There is also a PowerShell script here for new WVD session hosts and I have incorporated into it the same code to kick off the optimized scripts. And you can see in the input parameters, we need to provide a profile path, that is for FS logics, a registration token to put it inside one of our host pools. And if you want it to run the optimized code, then you just have to give it the optimized parameter and the restart will happen automatically. And the way you can run this is inside the WVD templates folder inside new host. And I have shared this code before and I'll link that video up at the top as well. Now, why would you want to use something like a GitHub repository template to do a custom deployment instead of just going to WVD, go to the session host and click add. This process will allow you to add new session hosts for sure, but when you do, as of today, you cannot incorporate into it custom script extensions, Azure disk encryption, or anything else you wanna add, maybe like Azure backup or Azure site recovery for disaster recovery purposes. But with a custom template, I can do anything I want. Back in the repository, I'll scroll down and I've got two different deployment options. Uh, this one is for ephemeral disk, which I showed in a previous video as well. And this one is for standard virtual machines, which I'll do that deployment today. And that brings us into the Azure portal and we just use this as a custom deployment. And with the parameters filled out, I'm calling my prefix optimize, joining it to my domain. We're just gonna provision one VM. And then we have the input parameters for the custom script extension, which is the profile path. That's where my FS logics profiles are stored. The registration token to join my host pool and we have an optimized parameter. And this one is either true, which means you want to add the optimized code or false that you do not. And I'll set mine to true. Check the box and click purchase. Back in our WVD host pool under session host, you can see I have made all of the other VMs in this host pool unavailable. So the only one we can log on to is our brand new optimize system. And in the WVD client, I'll just add a new user and I'll click next. And the resources for Batman have now shown up and one of them is my pooled desktop. Let's log in. And our logon process is complete. From our task manager, everything looks as expected. And the same thing with the apps and features that are registered. And for those of you who hung around right until the very end here, one last tip. 
and that's that you can customize this as much as you want. If we go to the 2004 folder in the configuration files, this is where all the magic happens. You can edit these files as much as you want to and then save that yourself and then rerun that code. And the directions for how to do that are all right here in the repo. So if you want to increase your user density in virtual desktop and get the best bang for your buck, you definitely want to take a look at the WVD optimization tool provided by the virtual desktop team. And thanks to them for their contributions to the community. And you can make some contributions yourself by providing any feedback to them so that they can improve this product for everybody. And speaking of improving things for everyone else, why don't you share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can learn as much as they want to about Azure and WVD. And if you're looking for something else over here on the right, we've got our latest video as well as another one on the bottom that we've selected just for you so that you can continue your learning journey. Thanks for joining us for today's quick video and we will catch you next time. Happy learning.